Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Static here, and what you guys are gonna be watching is an 81 and three uh, domination on the ra on the map raid. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna be rocking the V set, the dogs, the swarm. And today, I'm gonna be commentating about what attachments are good on your gun. Chewing on a piece of bubble gun, if that's uh, not bubble gun, bubble gum, if that's why my voice sounds kind of weird. So let's just get into it. All right, for SMGs. My three favorite attachments, I have to say, would have to be the fast mags, suppressor, and the quick draw. Now, first off, fast mags is more probably the most practical uh, attachment you can use on an SMG. Considering that in the past, I would use uh, extended mags because it gave you about half the magazine size and extension. But in this game, they made it to about 30 to 40 percent of the magazine size, so it's really not that practical of an SMG extended clip. Especially if you're using a gun like the Scorpion, which just runs through ammo so fast. So I would use fast mags because I haven't really done any. T I haven't really done any tests or anything. But uh, from previous COD experience, Sleight of Hand used to cut the reload time in half. And since they took Sleight of Hand out of the game, I guess fast mags is the replacement. So I'll just say the reload time is being cut in half if you use fast mags instead of extended clip, which really is just. Extended clip actually makes you reload slower. I found this out from Drifter. Um, extended clips make uh, extended clip makes you reload 10% slower than you normally would, and fast max cuts it in half. So you're basically sacrificing an extra 10 bullets for a 10% longer reload than what you would have had originally. All right, next up is a uh, suppressor. Now I love suppressor and SMGs pretty much because on um, most of my SMG classes I use Ghost and Hardline. And uh, suppressors just help you rush a lot easier, especially since you're using Ghost. Because Ghost is a necessity in this game. I, I couldn't stress that. I tried playing earlier today without Ghost, and I was struggling. I, I actually um, took it off for like one game, and then everybody just decided to start calling in UAVs. I'm like, what? I take out Ghost for one game, and everybody starts spamming me with UAVs. Quick tip. You guys saw I was sort of camping right there. I mean, I don't really like when people camp, but the thing is, I was close to a V-set, and you can't believe how many times in this game, no matter what kind of kill streak you are on, there's some, there's always going to be some bullshit that happens to you. It just ends it, and when you have the V-set up, you, it's really hard to die. I mean, there's still going to be situations where, like, you're just getting swarmed with enemies, and you can't, uh, you can't control the fact that you die or not, but... If you're like 20 points off a of V-Set, just try to play it slow. I mean, it's a little boring because I'm a really impatient player, so I really like to rush. But if you're in a situation like that, I would just recommend taking it slow because you really don't want to lose a V-Set when you're like 20 points off. The V-Set is crucial to getting all of your other score streaks. I mean, I remember one game I tried going without it. It was actually pretty hard, but uh, I managed to do it, but it doesn't matter. All right. Now, my third favorite attachment on SMGs would have to be the Quick Draw attachment because... I use dexterity on SMGs, and if you use dexterity with a combination of quick draw, you aim down your sights pretty fast after you sprint. After you sprint, it just pulls up instantly, and then you aim down sight, you're ready to take out your enemy. So, it, quick draw is a pretty practical attachment if you're going to use dexterity. I mean, on SMG classes, I almost always use dexterity. I use tack mask on assault rifles. Which is what uh, the next uh, gun type that I'm gonna get into. All right, my three favorite attachments on assault rifles, I would have to say, is um, quick draw, uh, stock, and fast max. I'm uh, not even fast max. I think on assault rifles, I actually do use extended max because assault rifles have slower RPMs, uh, which is rounds per minute. So. Extended clip is actually more of a practical attachment on assault rifle, so I would say my three favorite attachments are extended clip, stock, and quick draw. And the thing, the reason I use quick draw is because I already don't use dexterity when it comes to um, assault rifles. I pretty much use tack mask because tack mask on assault rifles, assault rifles are extremely defensive weapons, and um, when you're playing defensively. You're gonna get into situations where people are throwing a lot of stuns, concussion shock charges at you, and you're gonna to wanna to be able to escape. Because when you're trapped in a situation where you can't get up on the enemy, then they're gonna to come to you and you're gonna be pretty much screwed sometimes. Quick tip you guys see right here, I get a kill on this AFK guy, I get a capture kill. Always get capture kills whenever you possibly can. Capture kills 
they give you so much score. I was playing a game earlier today. I was playing um domination on plaza i throw a c4 while i'm standing on the b flag and i get a triple capture kill that's 600 points plus the hardline uh, bonuses that i get that may be like 700 no like it's like 750 points a little less than that which is more than three not more than three four it's a pretty huge chunk of the way towards uh, a v set so getting capture kills give you a ton of points all right so extended clip on assault rifles i'm getting back on topic extended clip on assault rifles especially slow shooting assault rifles like the an94 because assault rifles are so powerful and since they're so slow shooting having those extra 10 12 bullets can actually help you when you need it quick draw i already explained in stock because smgs you can already sort of strafe but assault rifles there are going to be situations where you're going to need to move so that it makes it harder for the enemy to shoot at you so stock helps with that because on assault rifles it's not impossible to strafe, but it's pretty, it's pretty difficult. And um, I think the gameplay commentary is coming to an end, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sort of like wrap it up here. If you guys haven't already, follow me on Twitter. I mean, I probably don't, ha I, I know I don't have that many viewers, but you know, if you watch this video and you're interested, hit me up on Twitter. Um, maybe you can uh, give me a follow. If you guys like this video, give it a like and um, please subscribe. And uh, go check out Kreisner. I'm going to leave a link to him in the description below. I borrowed one of his beats. He said I'm able to borrow any of his beats as long as I get him credit. He's a pretty chill dude and he makes really good music. So uh, I'd be I'd really appreciate it if you check this, uh, this guy out. Not this guy. He's one of my close friends. So I li I'd appreciate it if you guys check Kreisner out. He's a really cool dude. He deserves all he, he deserves all the views he gets. He deserves even more. He deserves even more views than he gets. I'm sorry. Alright guys, but uh, it's been static and I'm out. Peace.